This is the Camper for Game Retro Yu-Gi-Oh! Podcast. I'm Bragg, I'm here with Logan. Hey, how you doing? And we're here to talk about Dragon's Collide, the structure deck from 2012 that released, I think, on this day when we upload this. Ten in years ago. Yeah. That makes me feel quite old. Yeah. Uh, I've been playing for a little bit before this deck came out as well, so that's pretty... You're feeling old. This is, is this your first, was this your first structure deck? I think this is the first structure deck that I was like, let's take seriously and try to find something. And even then it was like 13 year old Logan, so... Yeah. Um, it did come at a weird point, dragons weren't really doing much up until now. No. It was like plant sync, and um, yeah. the like, six sand list was just starting to pop up. I thought Six Hands List were just before this, like they had been around for a little bit. Yeah. Because um, this kind of ended up being the start of like Chaos Dragon wind up in vector format. Yeah. Uh, which was pretty much when Six Hands stopped being relevant after the ban list. So, yeah. uh, so Six Hands was a fair bit before this. Sneak preview to, uh, I think it was April where this, uh, that Samurai deck comes out. So, mm. woohoo. Is but, that the same year? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Okay. We get this, which is a good innovative structure deck, and the uh, six AM one that was way too late. Yeah. That's neither here nor there. Otherwise, into the deck itself. Good. Um, this was the debut deck of Light Pulsar Dragon and Dark Flare Dragon. Two pretty good Chaos Dragons. Mm-hmm. Um, but nothing like Eclipse Wyvern is. No. Which... Light Pulsar having the effect to bring itself back from the graveyard was quite handy though. Yeah, definitely a cute card. Yeah. Uh, was creative in a sense for a chaos card yeah it created something different about itself to yeah interesting way and then also not too free it did, this didn't really power creep too much no they <laughs> slid in there quite nice but Eclipse Wyvern Banishing from Deck is would be power crept in later years yeah it's... <laughs> they'd find a way to break that because it, it definitely Eclipse was definitely a weird card in this set that it didn't really line into that direct interaction it was a bit no. annoying to low like to send it, I it just yeah, it was definitely weird at the time. It wasn't so easy to send any card you wanted from your deck to the graveyard like it has been in the last few years. Yeah, back then you had light ones you could mill, you had a foolish burial, you could dump one thing, but to get that consistent dumping of a close wide on turn one wasn't as yeah. creative as it is at the moment. So it wasn't as strong. It was good, and it was a necessary part of the deck you played because if you could get the eclipse wide in the grave, get your chaos dragon out of the deck, or get your red MD out of the deck. That be so far ahead in the yeah. other game, but it's just not consistent like it is nowadays, and why it's on the ban list. Yeah, it's just yeah, it's kind of weird that like yeah, Dark Flare was probably the be- like the more influential of the two with its banish from Grave. Yeah, I mean, but like I remember Light Pulse at a local level, it was definitely winning games. But on a ma- like on a macro level, I'm pretty sure Dark Flare was the the go to card. So it's kind of weird yeah. that the two the two power cards eventually are swapped with the oh just the kind of super rare that's there. Screw it. Yeah. Um, this has the blue eyes and, uh, and red eyes and two cards. Uh, the engine yeah, with white them. stone and black stone. Uh, well, I think you played the white. You played maybe the blue eyes engine in a couple of builds, but yeah. like once you got to like people understanding how to play the deck a bit more, that sort of engine was not in the main. Uh, a few. There. there was a few round light and dark dragons in there. Dark arm dragon gang or red print. And this was. This is like the first majorly accessible one. Oh, maybe. was no. Uh, was it in gold series three as a common? No, but Gold Series there, 3, because right? Haunted Mo- falls later this year, I'm pretty sure, mm. in 2012, from what I remember. It's almost like I researched this, and then I've just gone right into something that I didn't research. Okay, one of us researched. I just look at the page. Yeah, otherwise. Red Eyes, Darkness, Male Dragon, being accessible in to yeah. all you people as well. So it, yeah, both those cards... This was... The deck that was pretty much like if you want to play a nice tier one deck at a very much casual level, yeah, you could. Uh, you know, it's not like salad where you could just play a tier one deck at a tier one level because you had most of the salad stuff. But giving a twelve year old you twelve thirteen thirteen oh, giving a thirteen year old you dark arm dragon <laughs> recipe for disaster <laughs> that didn't come up by you in the ass until being a this format, so you're fine. Yeah, you got a few years. Uh, Summon Monk, from what I remember, was kind of weird to get, so it was nice to have like back around again. Now, Lila the Light Swarm Sorcerer was, was probably the pick of this. It was still coming up in plant format yeah. as the uh, the go-to spell and trap removal. Yeah. Um, Lila's almost will be. I'm considering my pick of this set, but I guess we'll Gee, continue on. I don't know. I reckon there's a couple other spells that might get there. 
Well, Calzone is definitely not one of them. No, Calzone. Oh, um, also, before we move on to spells, Raikou. Um, it's good. Yeah, handy to have around. I'm pretty sure it was accessible. The Gold Series one was getting around way more. Even Chaos Sorcerer as a common was a good pickup. Yeah. Like, you only had one BLS back in the day. Like, what was BLS off the BLS at this point? Yeah. Yeah, so you had one BLS and then your Chaos Sorcerer. And it comes back and we all go, I think a few people went back to this to yeah. see if BLS was working. Yeah. That's not Very. Uh, but yeah, Chaos Zone, not too good. Not the card. Neither was Burst Dream or Inferno Fire Blast. Just so, like, um, they might have been hard to get, but I don't feel like they were. If they were, they weren't worth getting. <laughs> They're yeah. not good. Uh, Wingbeat had been everywhere. Uh, Book of Moon uh, was cool. It was a cool Easy reprint. Uh, Excavation had been reprinted like the previous year. I remember going, "Oh, I, we've gone from like no one having them mm. to oh great, everyone has them, yeah. and they don't do anything." So even <laughs> it's like, not worth it. Let's and this is the time where chasing high rarities wasn't a thing on people's radars because there wasn't that much of a high rarity to get. Like you got, yeah, there was definitely people by. blinging out decks. They definitely existed, but it wasn't as. It was no near that sort of like culty thing it is today. Yeah. Reasoning uh, and Monster Gate, good pickups, but they're not the sort of things that were played heavily in this Yeah, Monster Gate was originally a common. Then you were at Monster Gate. I think it was originally a common. The producer said so, I, be- I believe him. Well, the, the, the Monster Gate abuser says so. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunate, my guy. DDR? Uh, was. Hold on. When was DDR before this? Was it in that weird equip deck? Is a structure deck? Was DDR first in this? You. I was 12. 12-year-old Logan. I was 12. What are you Do you remember me? from when you were 12. 8 yeah. that DDR was in the Warriors structure deck? <laughs> no. I'm going to guess no, but I'm going to say that DDR in this deck yeah, uh, looks like at a casual one. level was fire. Oh my god, I should really remember this. Yeah, it was in Dark Emperor. But I knew it had pre- like came out Damn, in the crazy, 8 bro. structure deck. Hey, what? what's that? That's... Why are you turning on me like that? <laughs> Um, DDR's good, but yeah, it's not the best card in the deck. And I don't think when you get to like the topping level decks, it was played that much. No, but a charge. Kendrick, and a K- well, that's my pick for the maybe the best card of the Ooh. set because if you played the like the Lightsworn Heavy Engine in this deck, charge is a reprint, awesome reprint. Charge, oh, this and yeah, that's right because it had been the super. Yeah, in that set. Oh, jeez, three years ago. So yeah, this definitely would have been on the radar. This was a big pickup. Mm. And it also dug you to your Lila. It dug three cards deep. So if you're playing the heavy build of like trying to dump Eclipse Word, and I think this card might be up there with Lila and Dark Flare as cards of the set. Yeah. Uh, the traps are all pretty trash, except for Call of the Haunted, which yeah. even then, that was a stretch, and it had so many common reprints, but... It wasn't a, a card you needed to pick up from this structure deck. So, top card of the set for you is Charge? It's probably Charge, yeah. Or, it's either Charge or... Eclipse of Wyvern looking back, but I think at the time it would have been Charged Life Gap. Uh, and by extension, Lila. Lila yeah. for me, nah, Charge always went into Lila as well for those extra mills. I think I if you're going to play, myself. yeah, if you're going to play like a heavy lights on build, the Charge is the thing that's valued. Yeah. Not Lila. One, I, I should really look into, no, the builds in January is still kind of that, very much that plan engine. Yeah. Uh, of the hidden gems, so hidden gems is like I've written this in for the uh, the packs. There's no real. Oh wait, one of those traps, I remember coming up. The and traps. Was... Yeah, hold on. Could have been dragons rebirth. I don't yeah, know I'm thinking does. dragons rebirth. What's that even do again? Uh, target one dragon you control. Banish that target. And if you do, special summon one dragon from your hand or graveyard. Um, I think this is. This might be the only thing I could say is Hidden Gem, because I definitely have... For well, some reason, this card's burning my brain, so that means I've probably either lost to it or think I'm at a risk. Would you say, like, the cards that were not great? Like, I'm looking at certain things like, you know, Reasoning and Monster Gate could have been Hidden Gems in this. Like, they weren't hugely busted at the time. But No, reason, like... no, no, everyone was aware of them because of the dark Democ. Yeah, true. Loop, so... Even maybe like a summon a monk. No, nah, nah, look, going forward, we all know my opinion. Summon a monk, bad card. Yeah, but it's playable. Like it's a card that's found its purpose. Okay, okay. shit card. Then. Cool, good, good chat. Um, maybe the eclipse wire then. If Just... we're looking, at, if we're talking about a card that wasn't as good then, but it's found to be, it's like really good now. Then eclipse wire covers that bill because it's it's bloody insane. <laughs> Worst card? 
Oh, Jesus. Chaos turns up there. Axe Dragon as well. I mean, Red Eyes, Black Metal Red Eyes. Oh, Sorry. he's calling out Red Eyes. Red Eyes Black Dragon, maybe. <laughs> you you ever going to play Red Eyes Black Dragon in this deck? At least Axe Dragon 2k level 4. <laughs> at least it's playable as a common, at like a casual level. Man's be hating Red Eyes Black Dragon. This is crazy. Cut the trash. May, you know, maybe Lord of D might be the worst card in this deck. <laughs> I don't know. Anything that was like original Kaiba or original Joey, trash. Wow. Calls out as anime fans. Go get him DMs. At Jesse Hesselhurst. Actually, no, I think he pretty much agrees with you. He, he would agree with the assessment of Red Eyes. Good. Play trash. <laughs> um, For the values, it's like, what it's website shall we use? What website should we plug? Do you think... Um, Cherry Collectibles. I'm trying to remember if they're the ones I hate. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we do hate Cherry Collectibles. Oh, no. I always mix them up with the... Is, it, is that Cherry The other Cherry Collectibles, right? Yeah, we don't like Cherry Collectibles. Yeah, we hate Cherry Collectibles. We out here. Hating. Do that sell them Just cut? use TCG Play Market Press. That's a good point. That's a very reasonable... Point. So you don't want to use app average on Yu-Gi-Oh prices dot com. Yeah, yeah, that's totally awesome. I only pay app lowest. I only pay. I only I'm sell for highest. I only pay app lowest seventy percent. Seventy now. You've dropped. You've so dropped your prices. That's two dollars. Used to be eight. eBay most recent like like last four average of the last four or five minus a couple of bucks. Not an exact couple. Like in a fair. This is all a pause for you to get up TCG player. Let's stop adding into it. Get it up. Because you could just search the set on TCG player and give more prizes. That's what she says all the time. <laughs> the listed median price or average? Oh my god, whatever button I just click, crash TCG player. Um, it's getting cut out, isn't it? Nope. No, this isn't getting cut out. No. This is. Oh wow, this deck did well, not Well, while Brad make... does that, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you about something you should be looking into. Uh, and that's eventually coming to Snake Rat on YouTube when I start putting content back up after my 12 month hiatus. It's alright, we'll I'm be there. I'm uploading two pieces of content. Oh wow. Hiatus. Three. Three pieces of content. Three. Three pieces of content. Same as Blake. Wow. Big call out. At Blake. Um, Blake off his face, actually, I think is his name. Are you ready? Like, this is yeah, I'm reading. Um, every, nothing in this set has maintained its value somehow. How, hard to believe when everything got power crypt and Eclipse Wild got banned. Who, no, who but like, just thought? random cards. What card would have maintained its value? Charge is a common and just out, isn't played as much anymore. I thought Black the original dragons might be worth a few bucks, but like, there's like 50 cents. In what deck are you playing them? They're trash. I know, I'm just like, people like having them around. Like, the old, um, old Caiuses are worth money. I like... Old Caiuses are worth money, because I have the old Caiuses. Yeah. For original structure deck, old Tris and Supers, I like. They're nice. But, the thing is, we're out, with these cards, they weren't expensive in the day, and they're not saying like Shadow Mist. Shadow Mist stayed expensive because it was something that was like played as like a niche thing in a bunch also of decks afterwards. Received a reprint. Yeah. Okay, here we go. This so deck received reprints and it's a Common Red MD is up to four dollars. That is the most expensive card from the set. Hard to believe when it got destroyed by the right. Um people list those red eyes for a little bit, so that ruins the average. And yeah, Eclipse Wyvern is like two bucks. I feel like if Eclipse Wyvern came off the ban list, those spike in price. Spike? Yeah, they got like at least Seven <laughs> spiking at seven bucks. That's a three hundred and fifty yeah, yeah, percent yeah, yeah. increase. What I, are you I agree. About? I agree. I'm just. I'm just. Why are you turning on me, man? What the hate? Why are you turning on me, man? Got me there. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. almost the profit ratio I make on selling Logan's cards. <laughs> and haven't I been doing wonders for the syndicate? <laughs> yeah, they are. They own the west side of town. Yeah, that's why they have a stock take. <laughs> the whole suburb around you, they now own. Yeah, they got it from Bray's real estate. Yeah. yeah. You were stocks to sneaky, the syndicate? Sneaky plug. Sneaky plug. Uh, so, lastly, the impact on the format. We kind of half covered it. Oh, it's got a definite impact on the format. It was one of the top decks for, for a good six month period. You reckon? Yeah, for sure. You had itself, Dino yeah. Rabbit, Insecta, Wind Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, you're right. That's a whole format. Ah, what are you on about? You got future, the future no, Fusion in- build? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's a- it's amazing how a twelve-year-old remembers the format better than you, eh? No, I've, uh, I do. I like, guess yeah, 
I've never really given them that acknowledgement. I've always just gone as Dino Rabbit. Well, yeah, it was Dino Rabbit, but these decks were around it. It was Dino Rabbit wind up, and then you had like Insectors and Dragons kind of keeping in the mix. Yeah, that's. You're right. He's, you've, I've always gone. They never did anything. I knew they did, they did stuff at locals because they were everyone Producer, had them. Just cut out that segment there and send it to me. Yes, you were right. Cause I'm, I'm, the ed- I'm editing this. Well, make sure you send it to me because that's, again, another it's piece of information. It's not the producer's job to do that. Man's never going to make it in Hollywood. <laughs> um, uh, yes. You're right, though, because like, there was plenty of us playing Dragon at the time. You had Spencer playing the Future Fusion build. You had myself playing a very casual format build. with, like, And, yeah, there was definitely a few other players. Yeah. Then there's uh, some people who aren't around. Today. I'm curious. In our Discord, we've like, we got a link to our Discord and like on the show notes and in there. Let me know. I'm very curious if this like took over your locals too. If you played ten years ago, well, to I would the imagine. Day. I would imagine. Yeah, only if you played to the day ten years ago. If you played one day later, piss off. Um, but I would imagine they would have to, right? Similar to any other structure that has some level of playability. Monarchs, you found that kind of went around with a good couple of players in your community. Salad, I couldn't tell you. Played I, around. I legitimately blocked Monarchs out. ABC format, there was like ABC four or five there. people. That I played, played Salad that for a bit. Exactly. So like, it's almost the best Salad player on the Wundon, nearly. I think. Do you have a YCS top? Uh, no, not yet. Not yet. Do you have a Nats top? <laughs> yeah, get falling down that pecking order. Actually, like Lachlan used the deck more than me, so he might have been the best Salad player. That's on true. Wundong. That's true. Yeah, uh, he used. Them. Yeah, I don't know. But are... salads for 2030, no, 2029? 2019? Yeah. When, when was the release? 2019. Yeah, so 2029 20... will be when we do the recap. Oh, yeah, when okay. we're doing this in. You gonna make it to 2029? Am I gonna make it to 2029? I'm placing a bet right here, you wouldn't have hair. That's rude, but probably accurate. <laughs> I've been putting off getting a haircut to keep from hair. I won't be 40 yet, so that's okay. I can live with, I can live with 2029. Okay. I'm not looking forward to 40, man. That's right. You'll be retired. I'll sit there and we'll get Josh in the seat. <laughs> because he'll yeah, be and, like, and he'll, he'll be like... He'll be 12 when that came out. So we're all... God, he, you are so much better than him. Him at 12 is better than you at 12. Was it? Yeah. Is it? Well, he's 15 now. He's got a YCS top. He's better than all of us. Yeah. I mean, I haven't had to stop, you know, 2018. He's still found a way. He's still found a way. <laughs> there is, for this year, 12 more of these. 12 more? Yeah. We're going to do... One a month. Maybe I've counted wrong. Maybe it's more. You didn't do one in January. There we go. But yeah, now we're, we're going to try and hit two a month. That's still not 12. <laughs> still not how that works. It's like, it's like 22. 23. <laughs> Two a month. Well, if there's 12 months in a year. Yeah. Then we've skipped January, so 11 months left. Yeah. What's 11 times 2? 22. You said 12. <laughs> 20, no, there's no way we're doing 22 of these. Maths is hard, kids. Stay in school. They don't release as much product back then as they do now. Yeah, so we'll catch up quickly. You'll catch up quickly. Here we go. Found the, found the notes. Oh, maybe it is 22. I don't know why you found me. I can't read from that far away. It's almost like I'll have it up here. Now to prove you wrong, dickhead. Oh man, I can read all of this. Look at that. You got that thing. And, and for the audio listeners at home, or in your cars. Oh, what's that one? What is that one? I don't know. It's going to be the Spanish Inquisition. Nobody expects <laughs> the Spanish Inquisition. We're back with Galactic Overlord. Um, 22nd of February, I reckon. Okay. Before we get there, prediction, mm-hmm. good set or bad set? Just have a think about it. Good set? Yeah, say goodbye. No. No, no I'll have to Goodbye. I'll have to shrink the time in there. <laughs> no, I was, I was, the music would have been playing and then it's going to finish on the music. <laughs>